Okay, so I just wrote these terms down at the bottom to make it simpler, but it's the same terms we just found. Okay, our trial divisor is going to be 4x cubed. It's going to be 4x cubed right here, and we're going to take twice the root already found, and that will be negative 10x. We just keep this first term that we found in the first step, and then we add on trial divisors from there. So now that we have our trial divisor, we just need to divide it by not the first term, that one is out of the picture, but divide it by this one. That's going to be 10x divided by negative 10x is negative 1. So we just found our last term, negative 1. All right, and for our complete divisor, we're going to also write that 4x cubed in. And we're, we're going to write um, twice that root plus the latest root. So that's negative 10x minus 1. Negative 10x minus 1. That's our complete, complete divisor. So we're going to take that negative 1, our last term that we've even found, that we've found in this problem, and um, just multiply it by all of these. So that's going to be negative 4x cubed plus 10x plus 1. Look at that. We can totally cancel everything out when we subtract. Cancel, cancel, 